Let's get more reaction as you heard Therese Coffey reacting there to the uh, announcement of the death of Lord Trimble, one of the uh, architects of the Good Friday Agreement. Uh, we can get more reaction to the death of David Trimble. Uh, we can talk uh, to one of his uh, successors, I think, uh, three leaders later. It was uh, Mike Nesbitt, uh, who led the Ulster Unionist Party between 2012 and 2017. Uh, thank you for joining us, Mr Nesbitt. And, of course, um, our sympathies with the, the Trimble family. Um, just just um, give us your reaction, please. Well, I, I think we knew it was coming, Dermot, um, but that doesn't make it less of a shock. And... I suppose the bottom line is that is a generation gone. John Hume is gone. Seamus Mallon has gone. And now David Trimble is gone. And these are the people who brought us the Belfast Good Friday Agreement, who brought us peace, who understood that there was something beyond party political interest called the greater good about putting people first before party political interests who energised a generation, that great iconic photograph with Bono at the, with the Waterfront Hall in Belfast, that concert for peace back in 1998. And we, we have lost that and we've lost the spirit of it, Dermot, because it's maybe not a time to talk politics, but, but we have two parties now who are not David's, not John's, who are leading our executive government, or not leading it, um, who do not put the people first. But in terms of David, can I say, you know, as, as a, I, I began as a broadcast journalist, I have interchanged with David since the 1980s. He always impressed me as a man who wanted to put the people first, an intelligent man, a sensitive man. And, and I'll just, if I may, because he, as you know, with, with, with John Hume, they won the Nobel Peace Prize in 98. I think two of the reasons uh, that, that are just going to stick with me, a month before the Belfast Good Friday Agreement, at the height of these really, really difficult negotiations, two young men in a little village called Points Pass were murdered by loyalist terrorists, great friends across the divide, Philip Allen and Damien Trainer, And Seamus Mallon and David Trimble went together to see the families and to express their condolences and that became the spirit of the 1998 agreement, of that kind of consensual politics of realising that although we were two tribes, we could come together and make one Northern Ireland, one community uh, working together. And then later, after the Good Friday Agreement was signed, the worst atrocity of the Troubles, you remember, was the Uma bomb uh, in 1998, late AD 98, and and three young boys, three young Catholics from, from Crana in Donegal in the Irish Republic were killed, murdered. Uh, and David went to their funeral mass. And maybe to many of your audience, that doesn't sound like a big deal. But David was a member of the Orange Order and you were not allowed to participate in a, in a Catholic church service. Uh, and David saw that there was something beyond his cherished membership of the Orange Order about serving the people. And he went to the funeral mass for those three children. Uh, and I remember as a journalist going to the first minister's office a couple of days later to interview him for, for Ulster Television, where I worked. Uh, and I'm not proud of this, but I'm not ashamed of this because I am of Northern Ireland. I've always lived here and I cherish the place. I cried. I was so proud. So very, very proud of David Tribble. Well, Mike Nesbitt, we can see how proud you still are and how, how moved you are. And thank you so, so much for such an, an eloquent tribute to Lord Trimble and placing in perspective the huge contribution he made in bringing peace and the huge doubts he overcame, the huge gambles he took to deliver peace to Northern Ireland. Good talking to you, Mike. Thank you very much indeed. Mike Nesbitt, uh, as you can uh, see there, very moved there by the, the death of his colleague, Lord Trimble, former leader of the Ulster Unionist Party. Of course, Mike himself became uh, a leader of the Ulster Unionist Party about seven years after Lord Trimble there. But uh, as a journalist, he witnessed uh, up close, as you can, as you heard him say, uh, up close some of the uh, calculations that uh, David Trimble had to take, felt he had to take to 
to bring peace to Northern Ireland. Um, let's talk now.